Do you want to hit jump smashes like these? Then watch to the end of this video as I show you the five essential skills to hitting the perfect jump smash. First row will teach us how to properly perform our jump execution while we're in the air. Many beginners when trying to do the jump smash purposely arch their legs or arch their back or arch their arms leading to incorrect technique. In order to properly learn this technique, we want to divide it into three components. The jump, the expansion, and the contraction. When we're doing this exercise, first we want to get into our jump position going down into a half squat while we're in a half squat, we want to bring our arms back to prepare us for the jump. And while we're jumping, we use our arms to launch off, focusing on using our calves to push off. And our first movement in the air is to go into our full expansion. So we want to lean back, arch our back, and bend our legs as much as possible. Once we are in our full expansion, we want to try to contract into a crunch position as quickly as possible. And it's going to look something like this. When we're doing this exercise, we want to make sure our whole body is engaged for the full duration. One, to prevent injury throughout the body, and second, for maximum power generation. I would say a good benchmark to being able to do a jump smash is to at least consecutively do this 20 times in a row. Our second drill will teach us how to properly move into a jump smash position. For many players, they can't generate optimal power because they're not in the proper position to hit the jump smash. In order to properly move into position, we want to first start in our center position here. Now this is going to be different from our normal shuffle footwork you might have learned as a beginner. When we're moving into a jump smash position, we want to be taking as big steps as possible without doing the shuffle. So it's going to be looking something like this. We want to push off and just do a one, two, three. So again, that's going to be our push off, one with our right leg, two with our left leg, and in our third one, we want to jump fully with our legs together into the jump smash position. For doing this exercise, we want to make sure that for each step we are pushing back, we are generating more momentum on each step. So one, two, all of these steps are generating momentum. And then on our last jump together, our momentum is diffused into a forward momentum. So we're leaning slightly forwards to get ready for our jump smash. Our third drill will work on our momentum forward to generate more power in our jump smash. Many players do not generate enough power in their jump smash because their momentum is moving backwards while they're smashing. In order to properly do this drill, once we're moving back into our jump smash position, first when we land, we want to be making sure we're leaning in a 45 degrees forward angle. So more of our momentum is on our left foot as we're jumping. Now after our jump, we want to make sure that we're in a sprinting position forward so that if we wanted to, boom, we could sprint forward right away. A mistake that many players make is after they land, they often land backwards, leading to one, loss of power generation, and two, loss of recovery moving forwards. The first drill teaches us how to hit the shot very concisely. One problem beginners often make is when they jump into their jump smash, they come up and their swing becomes too big and floppy, making them lose power generation, when in fact, even throughout the whole swing, as we're doing big, our contact point is still very small, nice and concise. In order to do this drill, we're going to combine everything we've learned before. First, we're going to go into our jump smash position with our feet together, leaning forward, using our arms to bring it up, coming up to open position. And as we're about to hit, we want to keep it nice and small and just use our wrists to do a light tap and then contract and land forward. And this is what it looks like. Once you get familiar with this technique of keeping it concise with just your wrist, you can start adding more and more power. But you want to make sure throughout the whole swing, you keep everything as compact as possible. The last drill is teaching us how to jump smash from any position. So oftentimes, we might not always get the full two-legged jump smash. Oftentimes, we have to jump from center position in one step, or jump this way in one step, and this drill will teach us how to do that. In order to do this drill, we'll start off with side-to-side -side jump smashes, which our feeder will feed to us. And after three or four jump smashes, they'll serve one really high one, which will then have to do our footwork backwards into our two-legged jump smash and go for the full jump smash. The most crucial thing when doing this drill is making sure to stay as compact as possible because the shots are consecutive and recovery is very important. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to follow us on Instagram to vote on what videos we'll be making next. Until next time, Peace.